Running up a check, you see it They on, they on go Tell me cool though, cause you know my shit amazing So, what is up, Africana fam? Young Africana, back at it again with another video As you guys can see As y'all already see, my face is already laid It's finesse, and so is my hair So clearly this is not gonna be a hair or makeup tutorial so I feel like I want to get into what you guys more because I feel like I don't really talk to you guys on a personal level um, I feel like I'm, like I'm either doing a group video or I'm doing a makeup video or I'm doing a hair video and I feel like yeah you guys get to see my personality kind of peek through my voice overs but not really necessarily in person like I want to like get in touch with you guys you know so um today's topic it's a trending topic too so y'all probably gonna know what this is but this topic is gonna be my extremely unpopular opinions like i may get some unfollows because of this you know but hey to each his own if you agree with me if i have my opinion twin out there comment that down below if you agree on certain things that i said what did i say you know i'm here to talk to y'all and i'm here to spill the tea on what i personally do not agree on and it's just how i feel i'm gonna be naming some of my most extremely unpopular opinions that I have so disclaimer these are my own opinions I'm entitled to them the same way you are entitled to them this is a free motherfucking country don't at me bitch so leave at that you know it's not everything we're gonna have to agree on um so without further ado we're going to start the segment and if you guys see me looking down, I'm looking on my phone because I have all my um, unpopular opinions written down on my phone. So, first one. Y'all gonna hate me for this one. Um, I think Black Panther's overrated. Oh, oh, he needs I feel like milk. it's overrated. I feel like people really gas it to be something and it's really not everything. Like, no. Like, I feel like, okay. Let me let me start that over. I feel like the concept of it, like the movie and everything, it's beautiful. All black cast, you know, all leading roles are all black. It's a beautiful, it's it's a family reunion, you know. I'm, I'm totally digging that, you know. I don't have no issue with that. But the actual movie, watching the movie, it's like, all right, okay. Like I just feel like the movie went too fast for me. That's one. It went way too fast in me. Like, I feel like that was a really fast Marvel movie. Like, Marvel movies are usually, like, longer than that. And I'm not a big Marvel fan either. So maybe I don't understand on a Marvel intellectual, you know, level. But I feel like as a person that's trying to be wild, I wasn't impressed. Like, I just feel like that's it. Like, this is it. Like, I feel like the plot went by too fast. I just feel like there was a lot of holes and gaps inside of the movie. And again, this is my opinion. And I just feel like overall, like, I just wasn't satisfied. Like, I just feel like, okay... I mean, I guess, like, I just, I was, I wasn't content, I just tolerated it. Like, it was like, okay, you know, I wasn't really, like, you know, also like, oh my gosh, encore, encore, like, let's like, see that again. I wouldn't feel to watch the movie again, it was okay. So that's one, I feel like Black Panther is overrated. This is a big one. Um, this is, like, my personal, you know, motto on how I live by with life. My friend's enemies are not my enemies. They are not my enemies. I cannot preach this again over and over again. Um, me personally, I hate people that try to be friends with you and then tell you who you can and cannot hang out with. Like, who are you, my mom? Who are you to tell me that I cannot be friends with somebody because you don't fuck with them? Like, it's, it's different if, like, the fucking person kills, like, your, your family member. You know, then I could be like, all right, I don't fuck with you because you did that. Like, that's what we need, you know? But because you have a disagreement or some type of altercation with that person i can't talk to that person especially if i was i was friends with that person before i was even friends with you yeah that's a no for me i'm sorry um i'm a big believer and everybody that knows me personally like they know like say like i'm walking with my friend here comes somebody that's walking that i don't like walking hey right in front of my friend keep that same energy because i feel like people be funny and like say like you're with your friend and you're walking with them and you see somebody that that, that your friend doesn't like and like all of a sudden now it's like you're mute like what, what are you doing that for like and then when y'all alone it's, it's all buddy buddy like that's mad fake like i don't like that like my thing is keep the same energy the whole entire time um why am i burning my bridges for a friendship that i don't even know if it's guaranteed like what make you think that your motives are good that I sit down here and listen, listen to you? Like, you're not God. Like, who are you? I don't know if you're talking like there's somebody here, but... <laughs> but yeah, like, this is how I feel. Like, 
honestly, if you're not paying bills, if you're not doing anything for me, you should not be telling me who I can and cannot be friends with. Because who says that this friendship that we have, this little friendship we got going on is guaranteed, mamita? Um, it's not. So therefore, I'm not cutting off any friendship and burning any bridges for you. Because what if that person that, that they don't like, the person that they don't like is the CEO of a job you really feeling to get to and you burn that bridge with them because your friend don't like them. Like, that's that's a poor-ass excuse. That's, a, that's an immature-ass excuse. I don't fuck with you because my friend don't fuck with you. What? Listen, I feel like some of y'all be taking that loyalty thing a little too far and end up fucking yourselves over in the long run. That's just me, personally. I don't give a fuck who you are. If if I don't have an issue with that person and I have an issue, what is that? <clears throat> a personal problem. That's what it sounds like. It's a personal problem and that should be with your person. Don't bring that shit towards me. Alright, next one. I personally feel like Oreos are nasty after a while. Like Oreos, like I could feel, I feel like I, I could only eat like two of them. And then after a while, it just tastes disgusting. Like it gets overwhelming in my mouth. Pause. Like <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Like it's just too much of it. You can't eat it all together at once. It's just, it's nasty. Like, oh. Oh, sorry. I'm over here thinking about it right now. I'm over here envisioning right now. Like it's just so nasty. I cannot eat too many Oreos at a time. Like, it's even with chocolate too. I cannot eat too much chocolate. After a while, I get sick to my stomach. I personally feel like people liking dark skinned girls is a trend. And it comes off as a fetish. Like, and hear me out, you guys. Hear me out. Hear me out real quick before you delete me and at me or do whatever you gotta do. All right. Like, I really don't care if you do all that. But um, this is why I see what I say. You know, back in the day, you know, before. All of a sudden, you know, we used to be African booty scratchers, you know, light skin is the right skin. I want my girl to be a red bone, yellow bone, you know. I like a long hair, thick red bone. Open up, uh, it's the lean ming, y'all that. You know, all that, you know, people used to jack, you know, red bones and all this extra stuff. And, you know, that's perfectly fine. But now, all of a sudden, like, you know, and like, granted, I appreciate that people now are showing that, you know, Dark skin is the right, the right skin, you know, or not even all skin is the right skin, you know. There's no necessarily favorites anymore, and I, I see that, you know, there's a little change inside of social media. But I feel like there's a thin line between being appreciated and being objectified. Like I feel like, especially when it comes to being dark skin, like I feel like no, no other skin tone has to do with oh yeah. Yo, her skin look mad yummy. Like, I don't know if you're trying to appreciate me or you're trying to eat me. Like, that just comes off a little, like, cringy. Like, I don't know if, if it's just me, but, like, why do we, why does our skin tone always have to be objectified to, like, a food or, like, you know, on some, like, oh, yeah, her skin is mad chocolatey. Her skin is, it's, you know, it's different to say, like, our skin tone is rich, it's beautiful, it's smooth. I don't mind that. But to compare it to food and to her skin tone is so, like, chocolatey, like, Oh, I just want to eat her. Like, you know, you don't hear when people sit down there. You don't hear people say, oh, her skin tone is so mustardy or her skin tone is so caramelly. Like, you don't hear that. Like, it, it gets a little cringy and it gets a little weird. And it's like, you know, I don't mind y'all appreciating our skin. And I appreciate it. Like, you know, I'm not trying to be, you know, ungrateful. And personally, I feel like it is a trend because, you know, I feel like, you know, after all of us, I'm not gonna lie, we was all chopped when we was little kids, but now we get older, we grew into our features, that's perfectly fine. But it's like, I feel like people have this set mindset or the set look of how a pretty dark skinned girl is supposed to look. You know, I feel like they don't appreciate the girls that are dark skinned but have acne, but are still pretty with acne on, you know? And I feel like, you know, I feel like don't try to accept us partially, accept us wholly, you know? like. With all the flaws and all, you know, the girls that are dark skinned that have acne, the girls that are dark skinned that are this and that, and you know, I just feel like even though y'all do appreciate dark skinned girls now, even back then it's still on some like, oh, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl, meaning that if you have features that are Eurocentric and it looks nice, then, you know, you're, I guess you're acceptable, it's just your skin tone, that's, you know, I, I kind of get that vibe, I don't know if you guys get that vibe, but I get that vibe. I want y'all to accept us as a whole. And not just, oh, I want her to be slim, fat ass, you know, because not all of us set up. I don't got the slimmest waist, you know, and I don't have the fattest ass either, you know. And it's like, you know, I feel like it shouldn't just be face. It should be, it should just be every, like I said, I feel like it should be every, like I feel like everybody should be accepted. I personally feel as if 
everybody has some type of toxic behavior. Like I feel like in a situation, for the most part, we put asterisks on the most part, I feel like everybody plays a role in a situation. Like, say like you and your boyfriend get to an argument or something like that. Like, you know, I feel like people tend to victimize themselves and you know be like, oh, he did this, he did that, he did that, 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 that. But you don't ever hear anything about themselves. Like, it's like I feel like that's a red flag. Like this is a big one for me as well, too. Like, I feel like this is very big for me. You are the product of your environment. Like, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Like, I feel like a lot of people in this generation, especially they be like, oh, this because my friend is a hoe on me, I'm a hoe. Like, just because you're not a hoe doesn't mean that you, pick, that you don't pick up a hoe tendencies. You feel me? Like, I feel like you are the product of your own environment. And I feel as if, like, when you're around that so much, you tend, it tends to manifest somehow, somewhere in your life. Like, you're not the same person that you were before you met that person and then after you leave that person, you know? So I feel like some way, somehow, like, they, they, like, your friends impact you. And, like, I feel like that's so big. Like, my thing is, like, if your friends are not headed in the direction that you're going, why are you walking with them? Why are you talking with them? Why are you conversing with them? Like, at the end of the day, your friend is supposed to lead you onto the right path. You feel me? Like, I feel like if you're not walking on the same path, why are you crossing lines to, 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 to talk to each other? Like, I just, I personally feel that way. Like, I feel like all my friends that I have, they somehow, some way have some type of similarities to me. Whether it's, like, work ethic-wise, like, we all hard workers, or, like, you know, just certain things in general like you know mannerisms and like morals like i feel like if your friends do not share the same morals as you or most of the morals that you have and i'm not saying it's it's not okay to have different you know ideals or just ways to move about life but if it's completely opposite from what you're doing why are you friends with them like why are you even associated with that kind of person like that's just i find it dumb and it's like for people to think that oh just because my friend is a hold on me i'm not gonna be a hoe yeah, you may not be a hoe, but you probably do certain shit that's like hoe-ish. It don't exempt you. People will always categorize you with the people that you hang out with. If 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 they're you, you friends with a whole bunch of hoes, like you friends with a whole bunch of thoughts, seven of them won't make you think they won't categorize you as the eighth one. You know, like they won't be on something like, oh, the hoe is n plus one. Like no, they're not gonna be like that. But oh, that whole group of they're all hoes. Like and it's like yo, like why is it that they put yourself in a situation where you could easily remove yourself from there and like, I feel like if somebody really cares for you to be your friend I feel like they'll change I feel like they'll change to fit your standard and I feel like or being in any type of relationship just in general it's all about compromise like there's certain things that you may not like to do but because you care about that person you will do it for them you know so it's like if your friend is not willing to change for you or to stop doing certain things then they shouldn't be in your friend group you know I honestly do not I don't like Wendy's like I feel like Wendy's is all right. Like they're they're their fries are trash. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like their fries are disgusting. I feel like Wendy's probably have like the worst fries between that and Burger King. Um, Wendy's is just not all allowed. Like I feel like people try to gas it. And I feel like to be honest, McDonald's tastes better than Wendy's to me. That's my personal opinion. We all gonna die anyways. It's bad food. We all gonna die anyways. So don't at me. Like I said. I hate highlighter like I don't know if you guys notice now but like I don't even wear highlighter like that like the only places I probably wear highlighter is like on my nose but like highlighter is I feel like to be honest I feel like highlighter was that as like a hit or miss like I feel like for certain people it looks nice on but for the most part everybody make their stuff look so ashy and it just makes your makeup look so unrealistic like before I used to be a big highlighter fan like oh highlight everything highlight my my nose my lips my fucking teeth like all that like bruh I just feel like highlighter is played out I don't really wear highlight highlighter like that anymore I even try to like dim down putting highlighter on my clients as well because I feel like highlighter really make or break your makeup emphasis on the break though because I feel like a lot of times once you put highlighter on it just don't look nice like it just I feel like it makes you look ashy at times and also depends on what shade you use too like not every shade fit for everybody so like especially if you doing makeup for other people invest in getting a whole bunch of different colored highlighters because sometimes a gold could like fucking dirt on a light skinned person so like yeah highlighters is not it like I personally think that a little goes a long way wear a little bit as right now I'm not even wearing no highlighter on my cheeks it's just legit on my nose but it probably like went away because this makeup is like days old let me stop no it's not <laughs> this makeup is probably like a couple of hours old so it's, it's looking a little crazy right now 
But um, yeah, I don't like highlighter. I can do without highlighter. Highlighter is not it. Another unpopular opinion that I have is um, I feel like a lot of people that join YouTube nowadays is for clout. Like I feel like a lot of people are doing a lot of clout chasing, and like to be honest, that clout chasing will catch up to you. Cause I just feel like, and I don't personally mind it being oversaturated. I don't. I don't mind it. Like. Everybody, you know, I feel like people, some people are do join YouTube to do certain things for themselves. But I feel like a lot of people lack a focal point. A lot of people just do trends that are, are just, I don't know, like, I just feel like they just do it just to build clout. Like, and I feel like there's no originality, there's no nothing. Like, I just feel like you can just tell when somebody's doing something for clout. Like, I, I can smell a clout chaser from a mile away, you feel me? And I just feel like it, it irritates me because I feel like it kind of sucks out the fun for the rest of the people that actually like to do YouTube because this is what they like to do and this is this is their passion, you know? And I just, I personally just want people to treat things as passions. Like I feel like people struggle to even buy equipment to even start a YouTube channel, you know? And I feel like people try to take that for advantage and just do it, post a video, they see that they don't get that many views and they, they all just stop. And I've seen this numerous amount of times. Do not at me because I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Everybody just, a lot of people just clout, clout chase. And like, like I said, if you have... So if you feel some type of way about it, or you're a personal YouTuber, you feel attacked, if it don't apply, let it fly. You dig? Another one. I love old Drake better than new Drake. Um, I don't know if y'all agree with me on this. I mean, you probably do, probably don't. Don't really care if you do or don't. But, um, yeah, I personally like old Drake better than new Drake. Like, I feel like a lot of people, especially for my friends, if you, if you know me, it's either I'm listening to African music or I'm listening to, like, old school music. There's a couple of new songs that I probably fuck with a little bit. But for the most part, a lot of these new songs in general are trash. Like, I feel like there's no substance. There's no, ooh, like, yeah. Most of the times, I'm only listening to, to a song because of the beat. That's really what it is. And, like, I shouldn't have to just be listening to the beat of a song. I should be listening to the lyrics. Or, like, I should be able to feel that shit in my soul. And a lot of these songs are not soul music. Like, it doesn't speak to my soul. It's just... Fuck bitches, get money, scamming his life, drug dealing, oh, bang, bang, blocker, blocker, blocker. Like, I feel like now all these songs legit be having two words. Kiki, Fifi, TT, GG, Mimi, TT. Like, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, it's, it gets annoying. And I'm not gonna lie, I love Chi Chi. I love the song Chi Chi. But, um... Yeah, like, I just feel like it's it's becoming a trend. It's like, nothing's original anymore. Like, everybody sound like fucking P&B rock. Everybody sound like Lil Uzi. Like, I feel like you can't even tell the difference between artists anymore. Like, everybody sounds the same. It's just like, I feel like this generation is getting dumber and dumber and dumber as we get along. And it's like, bro, like, for all that, by the time 2020 hit, we're going to be listening to fucking nursery rhymes. Like, everything is just so simplistic now. It's like, there, there's not a lot of effort put into anything anymore. And because social media, social media makes it so easy for you to get famous off of dumb shit. And I find like people think that it's cool. Especially, like, you know, people of my color. I feel like people tend to fall for that trick where, like, they think, if I put on a wig, if I'm a man and I put on a wig and I act stupid on social media, or if I sit down there and, you know, do pranks or I do a fucked up prank to my friend then I would get clout or just acting like a fool and like it's just like yo like us doing stuff like that is making us look like walking stereotypes where they think the only thing people could gain from is being basketball players or rappers and all this extra stuff you know I'm not saying that like that isn't your dream but do something beneficial with that too like don't make yourself look like a walking stereotype that's what I'm asking for this is a big one so I have an issue with this generation. I've heard a lot of people, especially like friends of mine as well too, where they'll be like, I don't see myself getting married, but I do see myself having a baby. Like, I feel like, to be honest, having a baby with somebody is a bigger commitment than being married. And I feel that way because no matter what, whether, like, say the baby's alive or, God forbid, dead, like, once you have a baby with somebody, like, that's a different connection. Like, that's a different tie. You know, you can always divorce somebody and, like, forget, like, you never had anything with them. But once the child is involved, 
Like, it's totally different. You want your family to grow up in an equal environment, you know? And maybe it's just me, because maybe I'm old-fashioned or, you know, I'm, you know, a little biblical as well. You know, like, I want to stick to husband and wife roles or whatever. I feel like people should stick that way, because that's how a family usually functions best. Like, when there are two parents that are present, you know? I feel like this world is too ugly to continue on with that I idea, like, Oh yeah, I don't, see get, I don't see myself getting married. I'll just have a baby by somebody. And it's just like, yo, like, co-parenting is no joke. Like, no matter what, whether that baby is alive or dead, y'all still have some type of tie with each other. And it's like, it's bad enough if, like, you're co-parenting and y'all growing up in separate households. But, like, when there is no love involved as well, like, it manifests to the child as well. And I Last one. I personally believe... That people try to downplay colorism and colorism is a big thing like I feel like people try to really try to sit down there and downplay colorism as if like oh it's nothing and like it's it's something bro like it's dead something and it's still prevalent up to this day you feel, like it's I feel like it's bigger than racism like it's way bigger than racism in my eyes cuz like um I'm gonna give y'all an example. I don't know if y'all watched Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, but um, so there was this a little snippet of when um, Spice was telling Mimi that oh she wants to bleach her skin because she felt as if like people don't respect her craft because she's a dark skinned woman. And like she, if you don't know Spice, Spice is a, a dance hall um, reggae artist. She's really good. Like she's mad talented. Like I fuck with her OD. Like her music always bump. I never not listened to a song of Spice and thought it was trash. Like she's lit. She's dead ass lit. Like she's actually probably one of the people that's on Love and Hip Hop that actually has talent. <laughs> that's but that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, so so that's how she felt. And Mimi Faust, if y'all don't know who Mimi is, she was. Um, you know, Stevie J O thing or whatever, you know, baby mama, whatever you want to call her. Um, they had something going on, they had a child together. Um, so pretty much her and Mimi was going back and forth, pretty much saying how like Spice is telling her, like, yo, like I want to my skin because people treat me like shit inside this community. And Mimi was just saying, like, oh, you shouldn't do that because at the end of the day, my ancestors fought to be black or extra stuff, and it's like, bro. I feel like she missed the point of what Spice was saying. I'm not trying to agree with Spice of like what she was trying to do because I feel like she should appreciate her skin. But I feel like Mimi, considering the considering the fact that she's a light skinned woman versus Spice versus a dark skinned woman, there are two different things. Like you grow up having two different lives. Like and like you know, granted, I'm not saying that we all go through like we all don't go through racial issues. But I feel like there is pretty privilege. Like, there's such thing as pretty privilege. I feel like when you're lighter, you are deemed to be more Eurocentric. So, like, you're more to like tolerable inside of the community versus our dark-skinned women. And, like, that's how I personally feel because I personally been through that as well. Like, oh, you're pretty for a dark-skinned girl. Like, who the fuck, like... I, don't, I personally feel as if, like, no light-skinned girl ever heard, oh, you're pretty for a light-skinned girl. Like, you, I don't think you ever, I don't think you've ever heard that before. And it's like, I feel like Mimi missed the whole point of what Spice was talking about. Like, and it's, not, it's not like Spice wanted to be, oh, not black anymore, but she wanted to be lighter so she could get those same privileges that lighter-skinned girls do get. And it's still going on today. Like, yeah, it got better. Yeah, I appreciate all the praise. And, oh, dark skin is so beautiful. I get it. But I feel like it's it's a learned thing. Like, I feel like it was just not being accepted being dark skin, especially as a female, now than it was back then. Like, you know, like, at the end of the day, I feel like no light-skinned girl ever really went through, like, oh, you're an African booty scratcher and all this extra shit, you know? And it's like, you know, at the end of the day, like, it's it's real. Like, I feel like Mimi missed the whole point of the whole situation where it's like, all right, like, yeah, my ancestors fought to be black. They fought to be here. She even took her to the Madam C.J. Walker thing, you know, whatever the case may be. And it's like, I just feel like she missed the whole point. Like, I feel like... It's not like Spice does not want to be black, but being dark skinned compared to being light skinned are two different things. Like, I feel like we go through two different, like, lifestyles, just life in general. Like, my thing is, like, imagine growing up 
watching on TV, just seeing girls that don't look like you. You feel me? Like, seeing girls that don't look like you, that don't have your skin tone, all the video vixens are all brown skin or light skin. And like, you only see one dark skin girl and they, they just think, oh, we represent to y'all, that's it. You know, it's like, it's sad, cause it's like, it don't make you feel pretty. Like, you know? Even too, I like a long hair, thick, red bone. Red bones are light skin. You didn't hear him talk about no dark skin inside that song. You feel me? Like, it's like, people don't understand that like, colorism is a big thing. Like, it's one thing to not be accepted in a white community, but it's different when you're not accepted in your own community. Like, and you know, it's, sometimes it's it's different, especially like, I know, for example, like growing up in the Spanish household, you know, I feel like, say like, you're the darkest one inside of your family too. It's like, it's even worse for them too, because it's like, oh, like you're not, and I've had friends tell me that that are from, the, from DR, that go through issues, like because they are the darkest one in their family, it's like, oh, I don't want you to date anybody that's black because your kids are gonna come out black and all this extra stuff, and you know, it's just like, it's just like, damn, like, being dark skin is really tough. Like, and it's like, you know, I'm not saying that us as being black as a whole, we don't go through anything, but I feel like when you're dark skin, you just, you kind of go through more. And it's like, you know, and it, it is disputable de depending on where you at, where you're raised up at. It's just like, yo, it's like, you don't know where to fall at. You feel me? Like, it's, it's, it's like, dang, I'm not even accepted as like a person that's being black and I'm not being except as being dark skin either and with my own people. So like it like the hurt is different, you know? And I feel like this is a rooted issue we go through in our society that I feel like people try to hide and mask underneath the rug, like as if like it's nothing. But it's something. And it's like I feel like it starts off with colorism and then expands into racism. You know? Like I feel like you know, just you, like a lot of people deal with it from being at home. Like I said, like my friends that are from DR and they're darker, it's like they deal with that at home. You know, they deal with that at home. Like, dang, like even my own family don't really like that I'm dark skinned, so I can't even bring somebody that I truly love. I have to bring somebody that's of their preference or that is white enough to pretty much kind of whitewash my family and to pretty much just kind of like make sure that like none of my afrocentric features don't peek through it with my own children and it's like it's sad when you have to go through that at home and then you go to school and you reach that same scrutiny with your peers and like everything do start off from home so i feel like that's just i feel like this is a, that's a big issue that we go through um but yeah i feel like this is more educational than it was you know like i'm like ah i hate bitches that do this but i feel like those are like some of the biggest um, unpopular opinions that I personally have with certain people um yeah I feel like this is more educational than it was you know on something like oh this is funny because I feel like there's certain things that we like that we got to talk about and with me I feel like I personally feel like if it's not meaningful why are we talking about it you know and I feel like people try to shy away from it and it's like this is shit we need to talk about you know so yeah it's supposed to be funny it's supposed to be cool whatever but i just kind of want to bring it down like onto bigger issues like i'm a big advocate where it comes to like you know when something's not right say something you know so that's my personal take on it i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy some of my unpopular opinions um yeah i just appreciate y'all as a whole like i love you like baby girl i love you but um if you guys find this video very good give this a thumbs up um if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel right now click that bell notification once you subscribe so you can get the notification of i drop my videos and um yeah i hope to see you guys in the next segment